18 minutes for the top of the hour. We've put it off for years in this country, but time is running out. And if we don't give serious attention to the power grid in this country, the lights could go out as well. Here's Dave Malkoff. You've read the headlines, you've heard the news on the radio. It's outdated and it's ill-prepared for the huge growth that's expected in demand for power. America's power grid needs an upgrade. You may remember this. It happened 11 years ago. 45 million people in eight states lost electricity. The reason? A failure at one plant that cascaded to others, leaving millions to roast in the August 2003 heat. It's time to make the same kind of investment in the way our energy travels. Last year alone, 14 million Americans lost power at one time or another. The average power outage lasts three hours or more. Those 3,236 outages happened in nearly every state. California had the most, more than 400. These states reported more than 100 outages last year. These had more than 50 each. Altogether, as Americans, we spent 2,140 hours without power last year some 89 days. No hot water, no heat, no light. Natural disasters like blizzards, hurricanes, heat waves, and wildfires make the problem worse. We saw firsthand after a wildfire in Colorado how difficult it is to replace one power pole without snagging the entire line around it. The idea here is to really cut down on your demand. This smart grid house in Georgia and a smart grid city in Colorado could be a vision of the future. There are no meter readers here, just a computer inside each home that uploads power usage to the electric company. It's an expensive upgrade. Power companies and governments are still trying to figure out how to keep the lights on for future generations. And working to solve those problems for our future is Jim Davis, who leads Smart Wire Grid as its chief executive officer. And Jim, I love this quote from you. You once said, if a phone can be smart, why can't the nation's electric grid? Tell us why you said that. Exactly. Well, the largest man-made machine in the world is the U.S. electric grid. And it's served us extremely well for the past 100 years. Mm -hmm. But it's now aging. It's getting old. And... If Alexander Graham Bell were to come back from the dead, it's been said that you know, he, his mind would be blown by the smartphone. Right. But if Thomas Edison came back, he would recognize everything. This would be wow. nothing's changed. And so with this industry, it's sort of the last industry that's really gone through any type of a modernization. And if you think about how, we're, how this is all connected and the ripple effect that would happen if we didn't have the electricity, you know, access to water, food, ATMs would all be cut down. So how are we looking to improve that and what should be people be thinking about now? Yeah, so basically this aging old infrastructure needs to be modernized. And the only way that we're going to modernize it is applying new technologies to do that. We have to harden the grid, which means we have to make it more reliable, more resilient, particularly as we're faced with the new weather realities. Mm -hmm. We're faced with congestion, which means there's an ability for power to make it through to the large demand markets. And there's also uh, threats from terrorists and cyber attacks, things like that. And when you bring up weather, you know, we, we've seen what, when that happens and what that could do to power grids in the system, and it, it costs real dollars. What is it costing businesses? Well, huge losses of revenue. And depending on how severe and how long the outage is, it can be billions of dollars, but certainly millions of dollars that can impact our businesses. All right, let's quickly talk about which state's technology is being used to help improve it. So California, Colorado, New York have tend to be more on the forefront of doing things like uh, leading with energy efficiency, demand side management solutions to lower peak demand, uh, to build microgrids, uh, the proliferation of solar. Uh, New York is really leading the nation right now with reforming the energy vision, okay. uh, which is helping to figure out how do we solve congestion problems so that when we have a Hurricane Sandy or other events, we can have reliable power. Right. Interesting discussion to have. Jim Davis, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Mike? Definitely worthwhile. Thank you very much.